Welcome back to Ukko Place Hearthstone Arena. Here we are with the mage deck. Two losses, one win. Let's go. Is this my exit? This would be pretty sad. Sad exit, but... Well, I don't think I could have done much on that last match. A crazy two light well priest <laughs> dude I played against. You should watch the last episode if you didn't see that. Okay, where's the opponent? I'm oh, another mage. I've been kind of feeling like I may have, may don't have, may don't have. Yeah, I wanna hang on to the ghoul. I feel like I may gonna be missing some removal. I mean, it's, it was the flame strike that I was really, really hoping to get last. Oh, last uh, game. Well, I'm, I've been hoping to have flame strike whenever after I built this deck. But, but, you can't always get those good cards, sadly. And sometimes you get loads of them. Okay, next turn, just hero power, I guess. What to do? Or maybe if I get two mana drop, but uh, do I even have any two mana drops? I, I feel like I have very little of this early game. Uh, that's a pretty good thing for him to summon. Now I can't easily get through here. Dark Iron Dwarf does uh, nothing. I'm not gonna reveal my worgen right now. Let's hope he didn't pick up Arcane Explosion. It would be a... Mm, yeah, it would... I don't know. Would it be a, wa a waste to kill this dude with Arcane Explosion? When there's nothing else on the board, maybe it would be a little bit wasteful. So I can understand wanting to get rid of this worgen whenever I mean he can kill any t any two mana, uh, two, not two mana, but two health mob that he can get to, and he's painful to remove without any kind of an AOE. Yeah, he'll just ping me, okay. Oh man, oh, but I can't kill. Yeah, I think I'll go with this thing and start pinging next turn. I'm kind of worried that he has some frostbolt there. No, he just shoot at me. And does he have anything to drop? Any one mana cards? No. Iron Big Owl. Oh shit, son. Um, I have no idea why I thought I could... <laughs> why I thought I could... Ah, oh, you know. I dropped this guy after I used my ping. Anyway. Does he have... Okay, he frostbolts that guy. A smart user for a frostbolt. And now I can trade. Trade with that dude. Um, Sunwalker. Yeah. Anything else? I mean, I could owl and this guy, but eh. First. Yeah. Just use one stealth critter and drop set. Drop the next one down. Once again, I have something annoying on the board. He can't very freely drop things. He knows I can kill a lot of things he could drop. And he can't really do anything. He or she can't do anything to the tiger there. You can also buff the tiger to plus seven. I can drop this guy and then attack with the tiger. That might be a good idea if he doesn't drop anything too nasty here. I have this thing if he manages manages to drop something absolutely horrible, but I don't think would there be any five mana cards I would wanna copy. Honestly, I don't think I would want to copy that. Um, this guy doesn't kill heat. Yeah. Oh, but he does kill it with, if I give him plus two attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What so I uh, thought the smart thing for him would be to attack it once with the... No, but he has the... No, but he still has... He can ping off that. Oh no. 
let's drop him and see what happens. I could have also killed the um, creeper with the dark iron dwarf buffing the tiger. That might have been a better idea. I don't know. Okay, he's uh, dropping just stuff. Will he not? I I'm pretty surprised that he did not ping off the... I could polymorph, but I feel like I should rather kill it. Mm, we can kill the dude then easily. Let's see. Can I take care of his dudes easily? The clerk can explosion, but that doesn't really nothing. I feel like this is still the best way to go. Kill that dude. And honestly, ping this dude. And then attack him. Or her. Whatever it is. Well, there's plenty of cheap targets and fireball targets for him there. He can also flame star strike if he has it now. Does flame strike does do for damage. If it does, this would be a pretty good trade for him. The gates are open. Oh, Lord of the Arena. I could copy it. And he coins into something. Pinging to that. Oh, he'll kill it. Okay. Ancient mage, I can polymorph, I feel like it would be smart to polymorph that. Um, then I probably wanna just ping it. Dropping this guy would be pretty cool too. Drop that, this guy, this would do 3 damage, well, would not really work. Uh, I feel like sheep. Now the question is, do I leave the sheep? Mages probably don't have that much buffing power, so I leave the sheep actually. Once again, it may be a mistake to leave the sheep, he might be able to buff it. But he's a mage, so he's no priest or paladin. Against priests and paladins, don't leave mobs on the table. Okay, he'll flame star and then use the sheep to kill something. The tiger. Yeah, smart play. It's lance. Well, okay, there's nothing much I can do right now. Let's heal myself and yeah, I have nothing really I could do here. Where am I? Did he just ask where am I? Okay, he's ancient that way. Oh, I have st silence and manipulator here. He can ping down the mage now. I still have that three three there at least. Yeah. That would probably be the smart play. I didn't get much value out of the uh, mage there. What does and the win fury. That well, yeah. Nope, will he buff it? No, and cross no was. Okay. Mm, isn't this a shaman card? I guess not. Okay, I have two arcane explosions, but no spell power. I could silence that dude, but he could still kill the owl. owl. I don't really wanna... Okay, first of all, this guy has no enrage or anything. I mean, I could kill him with arcane explosion or arcane explosion ping, but... That does four damage by now. Let's... Yeah, let's not try, try to save this guy. Let's ice lance him so he does not damage to me. Play, play it safe. Play it safe. Who knows? Maybe he has some crazy buffs. He could have given it. Well, I mean, I don't think he could get it to 15, 15 slash two, but still. What to do? What is he planning? I'm actually hoping something really big comes out, so I could copy it. 
Maybe I should have copied the Wind Fury one. But I kinda thought he could have gotten rid of it. Yeah, my problem is I don't have much to play right now. Okay, okay now the double arcane explosion might be good. Sadly, he can kill it still. Arcane explosion, arcane explosion. Cannot ping down the gnome still after that. I could do two taunts, but I think two arcane explosions right now might be the best value I get out of them. So. I'll leave that 2-2 two -two there. Can drop this dude, and I can attack him. Leaving to to gnome again, maybe a bad idea, but who knows? Silence and a faces manipulator. I can silence any a taunt at the at his last moments, maybe. And or I can face this manipulate. You know, I got. If he drops a big, big taunt, I could face his manipulate it first and then silence it. Who knows? Yep, can't attack the Farseer yet. Uh, feels like they are. He's gonna trouble. Okay, he'll take care of the Farseer. A smart move. I would do it if I was him. <laughs> he really is fighting for a survival here. I can. I mean, I guess I can face his manipulate then Goblin. Okay, I'll ping him. Yeah, so he can kill him next turn. Um, probably smart move. A nut pagel. <laughs> I could, I could face as manipulate nut pagel, but I kind of need that damage right now. Yeah, if I drop the. I can wait and fish all day. I'll kill this thing. Yeah, I think this was the smart play. And I got the card draw. Shield bearer. Well, it's a taunt. It's a taunt. Okay, okay. I mean, does he have some fireballs or something like that? Well played. I think that that was that was a well played. I lose one. Yes, it was. Uh, victory! So I don't do as bad as I did as my paladin. Thankfully. I was very afraid that would happen. Anyway, it's at least 2-3 now. Let's play another game. Ahum, ahum. Okay, let's hope I get into play again. I've been having some technical, technical difficulties here, but uh, not this time, not this time. Almost played against the Grandmaster. Well, who knows? Maybe this guy is the Grandmaster. Ramon Bokcho. Oh, I like getting the ghoul early. Do I want to keep this guy? I'll get rid of him. Also, not to myself. I do have two silences in my hand. Oh, great. Uh, mirror image, this guy would probably be a great combo. So I'll drop you this guy and hopefully coin into the ghoul unless he pulls out something really nasty. I don't know what, what that could want? could be. That is uh, not uh, the nasty thing yet. Oh, I could get the cobra again, but um, no. Ghoul into the uh, ghoul, coin into the cool ghoul. All right, all right. Uh, next turn, hopefully get uh, these down, or maybe the Cobra down if he doesn't get through my taunt. The cobra is a really annoying thing to see on the board. Or I could drop this guy. Mm, so many options, so many options. If I need taunt, I'll drop this. It'll it'll make it really painful for him. He would have to, he'll have to beat his way through these things, and and whenever he does that, it will do. Oops. Uh, can he like silence? Okay, I guess he's planning on killing that dude. And now if I do two taunts and 
peeing him once. Yeah, that's probably the best best play here. Probably a really annoying board for him to look at right now. He cannot backstab the ghoul anymore since he's uh, he is not full health. He can backstab one of the zero twos, but if I was him, that would really feel like a waste of a backstab. Next turn, most definitely will ping down the tattered tear and at least attack him once with the ghoul. Assume the ghoul lives. I'm, I'm not sure if he has a way to kill the ghoul. A charge one that does very little. Okay, mm, four health. How like? Man, I think the ghoul will die now. Uh, assuming he has like a weapon or something coming, so he can kill that. So he can kill the taunt there. I could drop another taunt, but then I could not kill myself anything. I could not kill myself, indeed. Um, yeah, I had to kill that guy so I can attack him, of course. For a moment I thought I made a horrible mistake there. I should have killed this guy, but no. Of course I want to kill the taunt so I can start doing damage to him. Had I just killed that dude and did nothing with my ghoul. He may have died this turn anyway. We'll see. Does he have like a weapon or something? Okay, yeah, he had the backstab there. Is that a permanent plus two plus two? Uh, no, it's this turn. And... Okay, he... He didn't even... Arcane Explosion, that does very little to me. I like Tauren. Well, he can kill the Tauren. Cobra? Mm, Cobra would also trade pretty much one to one. Arcane Explosion, I cannot kill. What to do? What to do? Mm, let's see, if I drop this dude... If I drop this dude... I could enrage him, actually, but... I think it has to be the Cro Cobra right now. And then ping down this dude. Job done. So unless he has some a big removal, he, um, would you would you assassinate a cobra? Maybe you would. Maybe you would. Is it an assassination? Assassinate the card that kills any minion. You shall not pass. Shield bearer. Okay, anointing, but but letting this dude leave might be a mistake. In my opinion. I mean, I can sheep that shield bearer if he drops some big 5 mana minion that I really wanna kill with the cobra. Who knows, who knows. Well, you have... Uh, less cards than I do. Yeah, actually, there, is, there are three options in your hand and one in your... Um... Well, I'm not sure if that is in your hand too. Um, oh, many I mean, he would. This is an interesting. Okay, he'll leave. Okay, he didn't touch the cobra. Now the question is, oh, do what now? I can kill that dude if I buff the cobra. And then what? Ice lands, maybe the tree tree. I could drop the torrin, and then what? Nothing. I I feel like giving the cobra the attack power would be the best way, and then then ice lands. Yeah, so he can't very easily kill the cobra. Kill that dude. I slance this dude. Enter. So now he has two annoying things on the board he would need to kill. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm still not very happy about where I am right now with these cards and what I have on the table and but I kinda think he might have in his hand. So many I do have the silence here for something nasty that needs to be silenced. I can't think of anything that nasty yet. Well, if he buffs some minion, I could of course silence that thing. That minion. Like an arcane explosion, but it still does very little to me. So many options. Might be this Thorin next turn. I need to kill the tree tree with the dwarf, I think, and then taunt with the to 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 Thorin. Jungle Panther. Oh, that's that's annoying. And sap. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah, he can kill kill it, of course, using his own weapon hitter. Okay. Mm, sea giant. No way of me to play it, I think. So yeah, Cobra, this thing, ping the three three dude. That sounds like the best way to do to go about this. Oh, ooh, ooh, I cannot ping that. <laughs> I have seven mana, not eight. Whoops, whoops. I got sheep, but I really don't want to waste a sheep on that 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I think it's just a Tauren warrior. And then... Ping? Yeah, again, once again I have the target explosion there, but... The target I could have pinged actually was my... Yeah, maybe it would have been smarter to... Well, not really. I was thinking, should I have pinged the Tauren instead? Well, that is now 5-2. Not that it really matters. He'll lose whatever he throws at it anyway. I wonder if that was a mistake from him. I guess he just did it for the card draw. Okay, now Arcane Explosion is pretty useful. Uh, depending a bit what I get now on the board. The fact is, I am gonna bleeding. Okay, Arcane Explosion, Cobra, Bear. That's the plan. That's the plan. I could cheap this thing to two, but what ten? Or can explosion sheep? Then I could not do anything else. I can actually kill this dude with arcane explosion ping too. Yeah, arcane explosion ping. Then drop the cobra. I think. Yes. Yes. Who? I think that's how I do it. See giant, possibly playable next turn, unless he just unless he just uh, kills the cobra with some big weapon. Okay, can kill that with the cobra. Cobra will also die if he decides to hit the cobra, and he does. But I'm not that worried about it. What else do I get? Booty Bay, Bodyguard. Um, you know, I almost wanna save the co leave the Cobra alive and drop Grizzly and Booty Bay Bodyguard. But if he can, can he wipe the board somehow? I cannot think of an immediate ways he could do that. So, I'll see. Bit of a gamble now. If he manages to kill them all, like two assassinates or something like that, then I'm kind of screwed. Well, not screwed, but I'm not in a good position, since at least taunt wise, I still have this sea giant here waiting. Hopefully, next turn I can play it. I have polymorph and owl, owl again on my hand for some something nasty. Yeah, I'm really saving this polymorph. Maybe it's. Is it being a bit of a. Too good to use syndrome here. Mm, but I don't think he has presented with me with anything really that sheebable. 
I don't remember any super big minions coming out. Okay. Betrayal, okay. Wait, will those guys die now? Those guys died. Okay, I didn't think that the, that would work like that, but I guess it did. Yeah. For the king. Remember, Cobra can do that. So that's that's only a problem against uh, only a problem against a rogue. I don't think there are any other character that could do that. Hunter has misdirection, doesn't he? Ancient Mage, I could silence this dude and he would just become 2-3. Then I would lose my... Owl and then what? Honestly, I think I Owl and then this guy. Yeah, I feel like that's the safest way to do this. Problem is I'm getting kind of low health myself, so... If he can somehow weather the storm still against me, I'm gonna screw it. I'm sure he wanna hit the owl with his weapon. Would think so. No, he'll kill it with that dude. Uh, can he heal that dude up? Okay, that's really annoying. Enter the shadows. Oh, that's super fucking annoying. And now I can't even... No, I cannot even. Yeah, that might have won him the game. Who won the game? Can I sheep something? Infernal minion stealth. I should maybe sheep this dude if he has a panda coming. So, sheep ping. Drop ancient mage? Yeah, drop ancient mage. I wonder if he'll try to attack me with the hogger though. Hum, hum. The problem is, can I really get... No, if I sheep this guy... Then kill that dude with my... Well, the end result is the same, isn't it? I need somehow to get to hogger. But how can I do that? Things. How much damage he has on, on the board? I think because he has so much damage, I gonna have to sheep this dude, ping this dude, kill this dude. Now he needs to attack with Hogger if he wants to do damage this turn. Hmm. At least I caused caused him some problems. In you know how I how will I do damage to this mage? Away. And I still have the trade where I sadly, well, yeah, I don't think it matters. He'll probably att attack with the sheep first anyway, if I play, se a play a secret. He can kill the ancient mage, but then he'll lose his hogger. Well, not necessarily, but... Okay, he'll just go for... For me? So he just keep the hogger up. Hoping he will attack with the hogger. Cold blood. And okay, that does very little for me. In fact, that's pretty good for me. Oh, I can get through now with the fucking hell. If I just had if I just had two of these, the hogger would die. Did I use one arcane exp Yeah, I used one to kill the those stealth dudes. Did I not? What was it against this dude? Who knows? Well, I need to do this. I need to vaporize. I will ping him. I will keep attacking him. And next turn. Next turn he is in a bad, bad spot. He has to use the hogger now. To survive. Oh, but if he uses it, then he doesn't get the taunt. If he has a taunt in his hand, he'll survive, but... Mm, that is not a taunt. He can kill the... <laughs> Well, no, he cannot kill the, this dude. I think I want this. I don't see any way out of, out of out of this for him. 
can he in any way do this? If he hits the giant himself, he will of course die. He could kill it using Hogger and his own dagger, but that would kill him. Hogger will die if he attacks. Oh. This dude... Yeah. Well played. That was a pretty tight game in the end. Hooray! Okay, what is it? 3-3? Three, three? Yes, uh, no 3-2 of course, 3-3 <laughs> no, three, three would be me going out. Anyway, this has been Ukko playing Hearthstone, thanks for watching.